The reason why I wanted a son and not a girl to take over the throne was simple. Some people believed that I wasn't the true king. I mean, look at me. Of course I'm the king. But you see, my father, King Henry VII, took the crown at the Battle of Bosworth in 1485. Now, the bat yeah. I can see from a load of faces that I need some help here. Uh, excuse me. Huh? Uh, excuse me. I've got something here that might help you tell your story. Yeah, I just happen to have it with me. You just, well, just give me a few moments. Hold on a minute. Here we are. It's a bit heavy. There we are. What's that? It's my puppet mood. I do shows back at the museum for the children. Very popular, you know. <laughs> Puppets? Puppets, yes. <laughs> a grown man playing with dollies. I made them myself, and it's a very noble art, but just give me a few moments to get my puppets ready. I'm sure it'll be lovely. Ah, the Battle of Bosworth, 1485. I'm sure some of you little ones can't remember that far back. And by the look of you, I can see that some of your parents probably can. Now, there were two huge armies that day. I have created the National Army. But in those days, every baron, every knight, had their own group of fighting men. And when the king called, they came to form the army. Well, you've got to imagine then, in 1485, two armies. One led by my father, and one led by the king. And they met near the town of Market Bosworth in the county of Leicestershire. <laughs> what was that? There's a fanfare. A fanfare? Yeah, a fanfare. Do you like, would you like another one? No, thank you. It sounded like a strangled duck. Yeah, I'm sorry, I lost my little bugle. Mm -hmm. say sorry about that. Now, as I say, on the one side was the army that was led by the king, Richard III. I know, I know, my kingdom, fair enough, sir. Oh! I dread to think what he'd done with my father. And on the other side was the army led by my father, who was called Henry, Earl of Richmond. Hello, son. Yes, but at least you got the colour of his hair right. Now, my father came from a very ancient Welsh family. Oh, uh, yucky ducky da, ducky da, look you boy! But for the past 15 years had lived in the court of the King of France. Oh, um, it's a very cathary. I shall say this only once. Au revoir! Ow! And believe it or not, these two were the head of two large armies. About 10,000 men fought. Many of them died that hot, sweaty day in August 1485. And they entered the field of battle and fought. Here, yeah, I want to be king. You're always king. Well, you can't, cos I've got the crown, see? Well, give us a go of your crown. You're not getting my crown, sunshine. Oh, I'm going to take it. Oh, you try it. Oh, 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 oh. You're cruising for a nothing like oh, oh. that. No. no. You're ruining history for the children. For a start, yeah. they were both on horseback. Oh, I can do a horseback, no problem. Come on, son. Yeah. As I say, on the one side was the king, and on the other side, my father, and they entered the field of battle on horseback. <laughs> what was that? Horses who? Stand and fix. You've never ridden, have you? No, how did you know? Just a guess. Oh. <clears throat> and they entered on horseback. <coughs> Better. Now, there was one other important person at that battle that day, the Earl of Derby. I've only got two puppets. You'll have to play the Earl of Derby. All right. Now, the Earl What of... did he look like? It doesn't matter what the Earl of Derby looked like. At the start of the battle, the Earl of Derby, with his army, supported the King, Richard III. Go on, Dick, knock his block off. Quite. But when he realised that the King might not win, with his army, he changed sides. Oh, lummy, I'm off. Go on, Henry, you can do it. We'll be down the pub by lunchtime. Go on, son. Wall up, wall up, wall up. Oh. With the help of the Earl of Derby's forces, oh, 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 oh. my father won the day, and King Richard oh. was slain. The crown rolled off the dead king's head 
under a thorn bush, and where it was picked up and placed on my father's head. My father was crowned king on the battlefield. For he's a jolly good fellow. Thank you. For he's a jolly good fellow. Thank you. For he's a jolly good fellow. As I say, all of us. And that is how we, the Tudors, came to rule this fine land of England. And to make sure that everybody understood there was a new family in charge, we took the badge from one side, which was a red rose, and the badge from the other side, which was a white rose, and we put the two together to make the Tudor rose which is still the badge of the United Kingdom today. Look on a 20p piece and you'll see it. There we are. Oh, I thought it made your story very exciting. I could be professional, you know. I've had offers. I had, I've had offers. I could really be professional. I could really be. Is he escaped from somewhere? 